Hey everyone, this is your Saudi coach and this will be part 2 of our lesson on K2 Aristocrat ciphers. In this video, we will be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve one and where the keyword lays about how to use one and make it efficiently and lastly how to use different strategies to get the cipher done. Now before we start, I just want to say that solving the aristocrat is always going to be the most important part and that you should never miss solving the aristocrat. Some people may get caught up on trying to fix the table, but you should definitely just do this aristocrat and nothing else. So let's get started. This one says a quote by Eric Messer in Life As We Know It has been encoded using the K2 aristocrat cipher for you to decode. Now our first step is always going to be looking at our frequencies, which is P to 9. So we have P to 9 right here. And then we also have B going to 9. And we have somewhat high frequencies with H and I and lastly Z. And now with these ones, these could be maybe S, possibly H, maybe a T. So we can look into it and see what happens. But first, let's look at our contractions that we have. We have apostrophe LB. And we also have apostrophe P. Now this is really useful, especially looking at our frequencies, as B is one of our really high ones, and so is P. So this one could be apostrophe T, and this one could be apostrophe E. Now we don't want to say right now whether L is going to be V or R. Let's look at where else L lays in our text. Oh, it does say that L is singular, so this could possibly be that is just V E. Since it's such a low frequency, it would probably be apostrophe V E. So now we're just going to fill in all of our P's as T's. We're going to have this over here. Um, and we're just going to go down the line and see where all of our P's are. And now that we have that, we're going to go and put our B in as E. All right, so now that we have done this, we can also see one of our things coming back from lesson one, and we have this word right here. Now, please pause right here to see if you can figure out what this one is and go back to our lesson if you need to. I'll give you a little bit to do that. And now that you're back, we can see that this one has really high chances to be the word that due to, this, due to the pattern structure. This one follows a pattern A, B, C, A, as I said in our lesson one of aristocrats, it's really important to know because it comes out a lot whenever you have really weird words like this that you don't really know what to do with. So now we have Z going to A. Let me just fill in all the other letters. B going to E. And what's the other one? L going to V. So we're going to have Z to A. I'm going to fill all of those places in. Z to A. And that should be all the places where we have Z to A. And now we're going to go look at the H. So we have T in cyber text going to H in plain text. So we're going to have T once over there. How many do we have? We have five. So we have T to H, T to H. And we have a few. I believe that's all we have. There should be more, though. Yep. We have one right here. And yeah, that should be it. So now we also have this word right here, which can't be anything other than have or hair. But since we already have R going right here, we can't have hair going down here. So that means we did make a mistake in our, our um, solving. So right here where it's e V E, it was only supposed to be E. And instead of the V, it would be an R. So I'm going to change that L, decipher into a V, and change it to an R. L to R. Sometimes it has a very low frequency, but that's a really rare occurrence. I don't know why L would have such a low frequency, especially with the letter R. So now we're going to have R decoding to V. R right here, go decoding to V. And our other R lays where? Right here. One last H right here. 
so now what's next is that we have these letters right here now these two both start with that e right here so using that we could probably say this could be something like at if not it we would say this is at but we already used a so this would probably be it and we can use i and decode that to i e so we have e to i now And what else did we find out? Because on T goes to H. And I believe that's it. So we're going to fill in all of the spots with our E with an I. So after doing this, we also have the word having pop up right here. This is the only word that can fit, especially with the ing ending. You should be very careful of having that in one of your aristocrats. It could be anywhere within the cipher. Just know that this ing is very important to know. So we're going to have h deciphering to n now and s deciphering to g. So h to n, I'm going to find all of my spots with an h and put it with an n. Right here, we have HN and posh BT, very, very common. H to N, H to N. Yeah, right here, we have the two letter words in it. As I was saying before, this could be an at something like that if it was a, but it's more likely to be an I almost all the time. Maybe an O, like um, on, of, something like that. But in this case, it would be I. So I would still go on with the ends. This seems to be a very easy cipher due to the amount of words that we have practiced with before in our practice problems. So now I also have S deciphering to G, which we only have one, so we don't need to fill that out. Like right here, we have the word not coming, I to O, which is one of our very frequent letters. So we have I to O. Um, I to O. So now we can see that we have this word U, U up here and over here, X to Y, Q to U. So we're going to look for all of our X. We have one right here. This one's also U, interesting. Um, and this is the last one for X. Next, we also have the O to fill out. Now, we already filled out the O, so we have Q to U. And let me just fill in this one right here. Now, we have the word right here, something ust, probably. It could be must, could be just, could be um, lust, maybe, who knows. Uh, it's probably just or must, so we don't know that right yet, so we're going to have the N to an S and fill out the rest. N to S, N to S. We have another one up here. And I think we have our last one. Yeah, that would be our last one. Now we have the word somebody right here. And that's very useful because we were about to say this could be must or just, but now we know it has to be just. So we're going to put that D down as a J, D to J. And then we have S, N to S, G to M. Uh, what else? C to B. And then M to D. We also have this one, having somebody help we also have an eight enough at the end creating the word alone we have m decoding to o we also have f decoding to l now we have not figured out what u is so we're going to keep that open helping you doesn't 
back from the somebody doesn't mean oh, g to m that you have snagging up the word it doesn't mean that you have failed i don't know why it's an o but that's supposed to be failed u deciphering to f it just means that you're not in it alone now k2 aristocrat ciphers they're only useful not exactly useful but it's really only a k2 whenever they ask you to find the keyword other than that it would just be solving like a normal aristocrat cipher and finding the keyword you just need to connect all of these dots slowly go through the alphabet fill it in and you'll get your keyword and it, so i'd say solving it just like a normal aristocrat is the way to go and if you do need help, you'd slowly solve in the words and then try figuring it out. But the most important part about these is always just to solve the aristocrat. If you don't get through the keyword or you don't fill in this table down below, don't worry about it. Just make sure you fix and do the aristocrat. Doing the aristocrat is the most important part. And if you don't do it, then you're going to get points off. So, And always remember, if you are stuck, you always have these two mistakes. So even though I did do failed in the end, I could have just left, left it alone, did means, and I would have fixed it. So in the end, we have the cipher. Having somebody help you doesn't mean that you have failed. It just means that you're not in it alone. So in the end, we have the quote, having somebody help you doesn't mean that you have failed. It just means that you're not in it alone. So that's going to be the end of this lesson. Thank you for listening and make sure to subscribe. Have a good day.